Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate BMI, or your body mass index, in Microsoft Access. When I get questions from my students, especially my members, I put them in a big folder and I keep track of them. When I see the same questions come up over and over again from multiple students, it piques my attention. And a bunch of people recently have asked me how to use Access to calculate BMI. Now, for those of you who don't know what BMI is, BMI is a simple, inexpensive way to gauge a person's overall weight from underweight to obese, okay? And it's just a simple calculation. It's based on your body weight divided by your height. So it doesn't take things like fat or muscle into consideration. And so that's one of the reasons why I personally say BMI is not valid for everyone. It's not valid for children, the elderly, bodybuilders, or athletes. Bodybuilders, for example, can have a lot of weight on them due to muscle mass, but the calculations will show them as obese when they're actually in excellent shape. I actually went through something like this myself about 10 years ago. I was big. I was 340 pounds, and um, I spent about a year getting in shape and uh, doing some weightlifting, and I lost, I lost about 140 pounds, which was great. But I put a lot of muscle mass on, and the BMI indexes were still saying I was overweight. I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, that's not good. <laughs> so there are definitely more accurate means of calculating your body composition such as skinfold thickness testing with the calipers. They can do underwater weighing or bioelectrical impedance. There's lots of different ways to see how much of your body is fat versus muscle. In fact, I used to have a scale that you'd step on. It would pass a current through your body, up one foot down the other, basically, and it could calculate you know, what percentage of your body weight was fat. So basically, BMI is really only used as a general guideline for average adults. Okay, if you are an athlete or a bodybuilder or you're really old or you're a child, it doesn't work for you. But for most of us, it's okay. So how do you calculate BMI? Well, it's basically a simple math problem. If you're using metric like most of the world, I don't know why here in the U.S. we're not, but it's your weight in kilograms. Kil <laughs> Let me fix that. Okay, weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. Okay, height in meters is squared. If you're using the imperial system like we are here in the United States for some whatever reason, I don't know, hit your weight in pounds divided by your height in inches squared times 703. Why? That's the conversion unit to go from here to here. Okay, so you just got to multiply by 703. Okay, now you'll get a number. Here's the range usually you'll get anywhere from, you know, 18 or so is underweight all the way up to 30 and above is obese. And here's a little chart. Okay. If you want to learn more about BMI and how it's calculated, there's a link. There's the CDC's website. And, of course, uh, government websites can never make short URLs, so I'll put a link to that down below. You can just click on it in the link section. So let's go over to Access and see how we can calculate this. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. I'm just going to use the customer T. Let's say that our business is we're doing personal fitness training. So each of my customers, I'm going to track their height and weight. So down here on the bottom, I'm going to put the height in inches. I'm going to do inches. I'm going to do the imperial system. Metric is just as easy. Okay. And this is going to be a number. Long integer is fine. Right. Number of inches. So if they're, you know, five foot 10, that's 70. Right. And then we're going to do their weight in pounds. And that'll also be a number. All right. We'll save that customer T. All right, now let's go ahead and throw a query together. We'll do our calculations in a query. Remember, we're not going to save that BMI in our table. We're going to use a calculated query field. If you don't know what a calculated query field is, go watch this video. Again, you'll find a link to it down below. Go click on it. Go watch that and then come on back. All right, so in my query, I'll bring in my customer T, and then I can close the tables thing here. And I'll just bring down their customer ID and then their height and weight. Okay, now right over here is where I'm going to calculate their BMI. I'm going to zoom in, Shift F2, so you can see it better. Okay, I'm going to make the calculated field name is BMI, colon, that's the name of the, the field we're making. All right, it's going to be their weight in pounds, weight pounds, right, divided by their height in inches squared. Now to square something, you do that little guy, the caret symbol, and then a 2. That squares it. Okay, 
And then that whole thing has to be multiplied by 703. That's the, the conversion thingy. Now, are you worried about which goes in what order now? That's okay. Remember our order of operations, our math rules, right? Exponents go first, so that is fine. We don't need any parentheses here. This should calculate first. And then, right, PEMDAS or BODMAS or whatever you learned, right? Parentheses we don't need. Exponents, multiplication and division, it'll go left to right. So this will divide by that, and the whole thing will get multiplied by 703. That's fine. If we had some addition in here, we might need to worry about parentheses. But this is okay. We're good. Ready? Hit okay. Okay. Let's save this as my BMIQ query, right? And give it a run. Now I'm going to get nothing in there because there's, there's no data in there. Let's put some data in here. Let's say this guy is 65 inches high and 150 pounds. Boom, there's your BMI. Okay, I only want to see two digits though. That's kind of crazy. So let's go back into design view. I'm going to right click on you, go to properties and set format equal to 0, 0.00 or it comes in as fixed, right? You can put two decimal places in there if you want to. All right, and now we run it, and that looks a lot better. Okay, let's do a couple more. Let's say this guy is 70 inches tall, or 6 feet 10 inches, or 5 feet 10 inches, and still 150 pounds. Whoops. 150, there we go. All right, a little bit lower BMI because he's taller. Okay, how about 70 and 90 pounds? All right, that's, that's pretty light. How about 70 and 200 pounds? All right, 70 and 350 pounds. All right, now we're getting up there. Okay, so you can see there's our BMI. Now, it'd be nice to have the description right here to explain what that is, right? Whether it's healthy, underweight, overweight, obese, whatever. Okay, so let's make a little lookup table, and we'll look that up and bring it over here. Now, to do this, we're going to need two more functions, dmax, which says go to a table and bring me the maximum value back with a specific set of criteria, okay? And that's a close cousin of DLOOKUP. So if you've never used either of these before, go watch DLOOKUP first. It's the granddaddy of the other D functions. D stands for domain, right? Where you can look up values in a different table or query. Okay, so go watch DLOOKUP first, then watch DMAX, then come on back here, okay? But before we can do some looking up, we gotta have a table to look up our stuff in. So let's make the BMI table that describes what these things are. So create table design, okay, BMI ID, that'll be our auto number, okay, the BMI number itself. This will be a number, I'm gonna make this a double though. Let's make that type double because we're gonna have fractions in there, okay, 29.5 for example. Okay, description, and that's it, save it. We'll call this the BMIT for table. It's our BMIT. <laughs> okay, so we're going to say here zero is underweight. Zero, I think, is dead. or not. Zero means you don't exist, right? <laughs> so that's underweight. So it's zero to, let's go back to that chart, All right? Zero to 18.5, 18.5 to 24.9, and so on. All right, so we'll use these numbers and fill this into our little chart table there. Okay, so the next one up is going to be 18.5, and that's going to be healthy. Healthy. So in other words, that's the lower range of being healthy. Okay. If you're below that number, you fall in the previous category. Okay, get it? All right, so 25 is overweight. What's the next one? 30 is obese. And I think on that chart, they had 35 is very obese or morbidly obese, whatever they call it. I don't know. Okay, so there's our lookup table. All right, close that. Let's go back to our BMIQ, this guy, design view. Now, what we have to look up is, let's go back here and let's take a peek at this. What I have to do is, it's easier to see them both here at the same time. Okay, I have to take this number right here, this 24.96, and I have to go to this table and I say, okay, which value in here is the largest value in this column that's less than me? Okay, so the largest value in this column that's less than 24 is 18.5. So that person's healthy. Okay, same thing with the 21. All right, what about the 12? What's the largest value that's less than 12? Zero, that person's underweight. Okay, what's the largest value that's, let's change this guy just a little bit. Let's make him 250. 
There, so he's 35. Uh, I want to go 35. Let's get him. Let's get him at 220. Nope, nope. Not that. Now he's dead. 220. Uh, no, it's still too much. No, let's make it. Let's make him a little taller. Let's make him 80 inches tall. There we go. No, that's too much. Now let's go 75 inches. Okay, good enough. Good enough. No, I made him 70 at 220. I, I, I wanted him to be just like standard obese. Okay, so what's the largest number in this column, the largest value that's less than 31? That'd be the 30. See how that works? So we're going to use Dmax to find the largest value in that column that's less than the number that I'm dealing with. Okay. Hope you got it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like VLOOKUP in Excel. If you're familiar with Excel at all, you can have VLOOKUP look up a value in a range, in a, in a column, for example, and it'll bring back the number that it fits. I use it for doing letter grades, for example. If you got a 62, it brings back that you got a D, okay, or an F, or whatever that comes out to be. You know, 85 is a B, all right, like this right here, okay? And in this video, I show you how to duplicate that in Access, okay? There's, there's no VLOOKUP function in Access, but it's a combination of DMAX and VLOOKUP, which is what we're going to do right here. Okay, so right here, zoom in, shift F2. All right, I'm going to look up the BMI ID from the BMI table that is, that is the largest one less than the current BMI value for this customer. Okay, so Dmax, I'm looking up the BMI ID from the BMI table where the BMI value is less than or equal to the current Customers BMI. I know that's a bu that's a bunch of craziness there. Hit OK, and then run that. And there's the IDs. You're gonna get an error here because this person doesn't have any information. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we could do with NZs and if errors and all. That. Just just deal with it. Okay, <laughs> I got I got many other videos that explain how to do that. Okay, all right. Just put a value in there for him if you want something in there like 50 and and 150. Okay, now he's got a value. And he's pretty fat. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 75. I'm fat again now, so I can make fat jokes. No. <laughs> All right, back here. Well, I'm, I'm pleasantly plump, as I like to say. Okay, so now I've got the ID from that table. All right, so now all I have to do is, is D look up the description from the BMI table that matches this ID. And that's going to be Shift F2. Ready? We'll call it description here. That's going to be D lookup, right? What am I looking up? The description from that table where the BMI ID equals the BMI ID I just looked up a second ago in the previous column. And since that one goes first, that'll work. Ready? Save it. Control S. Run it. Boom. There you go. See? There's our calculated BMI. Yeah, the whole value is in there, even though we're only displaying part of it. You can round that off if you don't want that to happen, right? Design view. Instead of displaying it with just two, you could take this whole thing. Oh, where are we at? And you can round. Oh, 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 let me hit escape. I accidentally, did you see what happened there? I was typing and I was over typing stuff. I accidentally also hit the insert key on my keyboard. There we go. All right, we can round that whole thing to two decimal places. And that way, now when I click in here, that's the actual value in there. Okay. Want to learn about rounding numbers? Got a video about it. Want to hear? Here it goes. Now, there you go. <laughs> All right, there's my rounding video. Again, links are down below. Okay. So, once again, that's the calculated value based on these two numbers here. Okay. You take this, you go to this table, you say, okay, what number in that column is the largest number that's less than 24? Well, that happens to be this one, which is ID2. That's the Dmax. Then we D look up ID2 to get healthy. See that? And there you go. That's how you do it. Now you can throw this into a form or do whatever kind of cool stuff you want with it. So there you go. That's how you calculate your BMI. And uh, that's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. And... We'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. 
Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.